Hey, what's going on guys? Sorry that this video is very late. Um, there's, a, there's quite a bit to talk about and actually there's some hype and there's some downsides. So let's get into it first. So there'll be a raid for Final Fantasy Revexus raid and there's actually some pretty decent equipment in here including some machine killer and some insect killer. I don't know if those are restricted or not, but okay. There's also an armor with 10% dodge, which is okay for, for free to play players. It's also a leg guards accessory. I, I'm assuming it's an accessory and it has 30 attack, 45 magic. And if you equip a katana, you get 50% human killer. So that's actually pretty good. The restriction isn't that bad actually. So there's gonna be a lot of changes, uh, including jump is going to be enhanced. The regular jump that a lot of older units know. So don't know what the stats are, but they'll be enhanced and Blizzaga, Blizzaga is now going to be enhanced to plus three. Kurosame, the new vision version, and also Medina are going to get Blizzaga. Don't know what it's going to be to, but uh, it gets enhanced. Aura is also being enhanced, a, a random ability that not a lot of people know, but uh, it's interesting because it gives Elbigosh to it one ally, so maybe it'll be a lot better. And the new vision... Renault is also going to get it, so actually that will give her a lot more utility. So you could you could bring her for that. That's quite good. If it, if it's good, that is. If it's if it's good, that is. That is. So sorry, this video is kind of all over the place. Uh, there's not much to talk about other than the last one. The last one seems interesting, um, because uh, El Emma Emma Tal M El Emma, Emma Tell. Uh, she's a healer and she has a I don't know if this is actually confirmed but I think it is at the start of the battle she gives 100% killers to all all kill all races which is really interesting uh, her team her, I think her S team are gives her S team are gives uh, killers 150% killers to one ally her S teamer, but it's only for a healer role, but it's still pretty good. So just think of uh, Crestnik equipping this. Crestnik could be a lot better with this on, I think, because you give killers as well. So that's, that's, that's quite good. And yeah, she has she's a healer role. It's interesting because she can give killers, and also I, I she can give two hundred fifty percent machine killer to one ally. So you could spread that with Mastermind Zon on on the global version of the, the future. Also, she has Stone Killer and Plant Killer, two hundred fifty percent. It's only for one ally, so only Global will really benefit from this in the future. Or on the cheaper version, you just put this on your finisher. But in the future, look for this because this will give this. I think this is what's going to uh, set people apart because uh, you don't even need her to be EX three to get this. I'm pretty sure. But make sure to tune into my review. I'm not really going to talk about these other guys because they're just they're both all three are unfortunately SLB, and I'm just. I'm just kind of tired of talking about SLBs, guys. But I wanted to talk to the last one because at least she's interesting enough. <laughs> Sid is getting the Vision Awakening, and he is getting a decent thing like Absorbing Wind and 700% Jump Damage passive, which is interesting. It doesn't show here, but my boy Lastful is also getting a buff, uh, which is interesting. He has a Crown Enhancement of. 130% Ice Imperil, 30%, 300% Magic Buff, which is unfortunately not that impressive, but okay. And Self LB mods up 102 times, so now his LB and his Brave Shift form is 252 times that hits twice. So that's a, that's pretty good. In his base form, I don't know if it's that amazing, but in his Brave Shift form, it's pretty decent. ADX3, he gets 100, 1,000, not 100, 1,000 flat attack and magic so I mean that's a pretty good buff hopefully he gets an ex2 buff at the in the I think as well I think it says there is one but uh, it wasn't tra translated unfortunately for me so I don't know what it's gonna be it says ex2 so uh, hopefully he gets more than just the LB fill buff thing because that's not really that useful for him he doesn't really need that that much and then just maintenance and stuff like that for that um so so much else to say, just the raid. Uh, oh, Turian is getting a buff. Turian is getting an equipment. 
that gives him 60 attack, 24 defense, 15% physical dodge. Well, anyone can equip that, but for Turing only, 25% dodge physical, 75% low press damage, and he gets a Magnus of self LB mods up 50 times. <laughs> They're really trying to fix Turian because he's really not that good. Uh, I think that might be okay. I think that might be a pretty decent buff. I'm not going to talk about any of the other units. Make sure to just ch tune into my review if you care enough. But uh, I don't want to talk about any more about SLBs right now. So that's really, the, that's in a nutshell, that's it. But there's going to be a lot of things happening. Uh, there's also a, a 12, another 12 race boss. So there's that, and there'll be a lot of login tickets for the banner. So hopefully I can get the pink hair girl because she seems to me the most useful compared uh, compared to everybody else. But we'll see. We'll see when it happens in my review. Um, sorry that this review is not that, or this uh, video is not that professional. I'm in the middle of a cold, so I'm trying my best, guys. I really try my best. So appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.